Hi everyone, this is Frank and welcome to my shop. Um, this is just a quick tip on uh, getting any kind of boards from a box store or it, it may even be any kind of lumber yard. So uh, for those who may just need a short piece of wood uh, out of a 4x8 sheet, in my example I'm going to show you is a quarter inch MDF. Uh, I didn't need a whole entire sheet, a uh, four by eight sheet of it. I just needed a small piece in order to use as a sacrificial top for my radial arm saw. So I went to my uh, box store and um, I got a two foot by four foot piece, which is exactly what I need. But you've got to be careful if you um, are a novice in woodworking or a novice in projects. Um, or even an intermediate if you've never come across this before. But a lot of times those small sheets from box stores, they're just put onto a, a, uh, a vertical saw, a cutting device, they just rip it down and just get two foot sheets and that's what they're concerned about. And, and I get that. But uh, if you take it back to your shop or your garage or your home center uh, that, where you're working, uh, most of the time these are not square. And if you take that sheet of plywood or sheet of MDF in my example, and you cut it on the table saw to the size that you want, and then you cut the other sides, the problem you're gonna have is the sheet that you cut down to is probably not gonna be square. And the best tell of that is to, uh, is to measure corner to corner and cor opposite corner to corners, and that'll tell you whether your sheet that you just cut down is perfectly square. But there is another way to get yourself ready before you cut that sheet down to ensure that you've got a square sheet of material. So let me show you how. Okay, the first thing I did is I, I took my, my sheet, uh, in this instance again, it's a, a quarter inch sheet of MDF, and I went around all four corners and I tried to see if I could square it up and see if I could find one edge of the, uh, my sheet of uh, MDF that would be square to some other edge of the sheet. So uh, when I square it up on one end, and typically on the four foot sheet that I have here, this end and the opposite end are going to be for the factory cut. So I'm gonna use that as what I call my side guide uh, to see if the cut that the box store did to cut this down is square or not. And in this instance, it is not. So let me uh, take my camera off my mount and I'll show you. Okay, so I put my sheet of plywood down, or my uh, sheet of uh, MDF down on my workbench. And um, I'm using a square, and you could use any square that you have. Um, I like the uh, uh, Woodpecker's products and I've got the 26 by 16 uh, square from them. And I put the square onto um, one of the factory edges and then I bring it over and flush it um, right to the edge of the sheet of plywood. Oop, let me get some zooming here and you can see I'm really flush. But as I walk that up, look what happens. It gets further away. It's not square. So since it's not square, get my camera to zoom. You see that? So if I would take this sheet of, of MDF and cut it and put this against this side against my uh, my gauge okay or my fence there we go can't think today and go and make this cut okay that cut that I would make on this end of the plywood or the uh, MDF would be square parallel to the factory edge but as soon as I would spin this sheet around and use this side or this side against my fence and since neither one of these sides are parallel to this, what's going to happen is I'm going to make the cut on the one side of the plywood and it's going to be skewed. It won't be square. So what do I do? Okay, 
So what I did is I said, okay, which one's the closest, which one's the closest uh, direction? So I took my, my square, I put it up to the edge, okay? And this dimension is pretty close, you know, it, it, or this side. So this side is just a, a little bit off, it's stronger on one side than the other, so it's kind of have a, kind of an angle like that. So um, what I do is, all right, I create a kind of a background in, in my career, uh, what I call a, a side guide and gripper. So um, here I marked, this is the bottom of my sheet, and I marked two sides. This is a what I'm going to call my gripper side, and this is my side guide. And what I did is I went and took my woodpecker's square, and I put it down onto the one edge, okay, figuring this is my closest square edge. I put it down on there, and then I struck a line across the factory edge. Now, what did I do? I just created, once I cut this with my track saw, I created a perfect 90 degree sheet of MDF. So now, as long as I have two sides, which would, this side would be square, and this side is square and parallel 90 degrees to this edge, now I can use these two edges on my table saw to be up against my fence to cut off the size that I need on this end and to cut off the size that I need on this end. And by doing that, you'll end up with a perfectly square uh, sheet of good, okay? So again, Make sure that you take a square, put it onto one end of your sheet of goods, mark a line, use a track saw, any kind of track saw you have, do not cut it on a table saw. And once you get that 90 degree square, then make sure you put this side and this side against the fence to cut off opposite of those two ends. And the best way to, to remember how to do that for me is I put little X's along my side guide and my gripper, okay? And by doing that, I'll have a, a square sheet of, of goods. So let me go ahead and cut this down. Now that I cut that edge off with my track saw, I put my, my uh, square back up to the edge, and I look, and that is Let me get it straight here with the camera. That is perfectly square. And I can feel it. I can feel it with my fingers all the way across. So now I have a perfectly 90 degree square corner that I could use against my fence. So let's go ahead and continue to cut this. Okay, now I'm going to put what I call my uh, gripper edge against the fence and cut off this side. Okay, now that uh, I've cut the sheet to size, I am going to measure one corner to one corner, and I am 35 and an eighth on this corner. Spin it around, and I am 35 and an eighth on the other corner. So I, am, I guarantee you this is now perfectly square. So I hope that uh, little trick helps you to keep you literally square when you get your uh, cut down pieces of material from a lumber yard or a box store. So um, again, this was a quarter inch piece of MDF that I'm actually going to be putting on to the top of my uh, radial arm saw. 
Um, I kind of put that into the plans of uh, uh, leveling out uh, my radial arm saw to my chop saw and building the cabinet wall. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to show you uh, a trick to make sure that you can take your cut down goods from any other store and take it into your shop or wherever you work and find a way to go and square this thing up so that you're square every single time. This is Frank, Frank Woods Designs. Thanks for uh, watching this video and uh, we'll see you another time. Bye-bye.